Yeah, he's seen Aaron Rodgers up close during his time with the Vikings, second round pick in 2017, and now they're partnered up. And Brees Hall looking pretty good. Saw clips of him on Twitter yesterday looking 100% following the torn ACL. He suffered week seven last year. He's back at practice. Cook is now on the team. He hasn't practiced yet, but they expect him to join the team next week. He had that chronic shoulder problem last year. He's had it for a couple of years. Been playing with a brace on, had the surgery, and and uh, believes he will now be playing with two shoulders instead of one, which could make a difference. But uh, Dalvin Cook is a guy that is a potential home run hitter. And we saw him hit home runs multiple times last year in key moments for the Vikings. It's not just, hey, how do you do you know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter? When there are moments where you appreciate the significance of it, the importance of it, and you can reach a higher level then, that is something that's going to come in handy for the Jets because one of the quotes I heard in Hard Knocks when they were talking about Aaron Rodgers, we're going to be in every game this year. Well, mm-hmm. okay, good. But you still got to go win that game. And having a guy like Cook around, if you're in the game, having a guy like Cook around who appreciates those big moments and steps up in those moments, that's how you take a game that you are in and you turn it into a victory. Oh, you could have – you had the rhyme right there. How do you How do you miss the win? I specifically – I mean, it was just – I was specifically – ah, speci- oh, That was man. intentional. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, but you're not wrong about Dalvin Cook and being a home run hitter. I mean, I think specifically about that Colts game that they had last year where Jeff Saturday blew, you know, a 30 to 35 or 33 to nothing lead, whatever it was. And you had Dalvin Cook, you know, in those critical moments, he takes the screen and he goes oh, the whole way. You know, those are the kinds of things where, you know, a veteran is going to have the wherewithal to say, I, I got this. You know, there's no kind of nervousness or whatever it happens to be with the rookie that you may or may not get. No, you know that Dalvin Cook is going to be as steady as they come. And I think that's going to be one of the keys here because there are going to be high pressure moments, right? We know that because everybody's going to give the Jets their best shot because they are the winners of the offseason. And whether we want to say, you know, the Sean Payton thing of, oh my gosh, they're doing this and they're doing that. I mean, whenever you get a quarterback of the caliber of Aaron Rodgers, you're going to make the headlines, okay? I mean, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So if they have a key guy on offense that they can turn to in situations where you need to hand the ball off and you need that critical run and it's a veteran and it's somebody like Dalvin Cook, I think that's a good thing. But I am interested to see how they end up distributing these reps between Cook and Brees Hall and some of the other guys that he was talking about because they do have other talented backs. This is just kind of like the cherry on top of the Sunday for the offense, I think. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.